Glory to God. Hallelujah. Good morning, saints. This is the Lord that the, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to be glad and rejoice in it. Yes, what a morning, what a powerful week we've been having from Monday prayers, Wednesday service yesterday. Wow, I was so blessed. God bless you all. But this is morning manna with Apostle Jay. You know, what a season. We are in a season of praying, fasting, fasting. And also on this platform on Morning Manor, we are talking about the Ministry of Helps. Before we go on, we just want to pray in according to the prayer points we've been given today, just for a few minutes so that we can just uh, kickstart our month well in prayer and fasting. Today, we are praying for the advance of the kingdom of God. Advance for the kingdom of God through El Shaddai World Ministry. If you are not part of El Shaddai World Ministry, you are part of another part of the body. I want you to pray for the advancement of the kingdom through the church of God where you serve under. Our first prayer point, we just, we just want to pray that the gospel will be central in what we do. As a ministry, as a people, the gospel must be central in what we do. You know, we are just going to read the word of God, hallelujah. Philippians chapter 1 verse 27 says, Oh, let your men of life be worth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this morning. Father, we pray as a ministry and as a people that in whatever we do, may the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ be central. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we pray this morning for the expansion of the church, you know, through church planting in different areas. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as your word says in Acts 1 verse 8, but you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall become my witness from Jerusalem to Judea, to Judea and to the Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. Father, we pray for El Shaddai world ministry. We pray for grace to win souls. We pray for grace to bring more people to the Lord Jesus Christ in the mighty name of the Lord. Oh, Jesus Christ, Father, we speak plan multiplication, expansion, yes, through church planting, yes, Lord, in cities, in villages, yes, in different parts of the world, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, Father, we pray that we actively share our faith, and we know with other people, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, Rabbi, tell the grace to share the word of God, the grace to share the word of God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we speak First Peter chapter 3, verse 15, he says, but in your heart, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make defense to anyone who asks you a reason for the hope which is in you. You do not be and it do it with gentleness and respect. Father, thank you for the ability in our mouth to share the gospel. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the grace to share the word, the grace to be to be proud of the word of God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we pray that our family churches will grow and multiply spiritually. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, that our church will grow and mature in the Lord, that our church will grow Grow, you know, in holiness, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as Ephesians 4, 13 tells us that, 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 that until all attain the unit of faith and knowledge in the Son of God to the mature manhood, to the measure of stature of faith. Father, we pray that, Lord, as we do the work, we pray, Lord, that for the sake of the people of God in the ministry, that they can give to God consistently and cheerfully for the work of the ministry. Oh, glory to Jesus. To keep up, give up their time, to keep up, their, give up their gifts, to give up their resources for the expansion of the kingdom, for the expansion of the kingdom. As 2 Corinthians 9, 17 tells us that each one must give as he decided in this house, not reluctantly, under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Father, we pray, yes, Lord, that we can go grow in love in the body that we can grow in love towards each other that we can be interdependent to each other and supply to each other oh glory to jesus oh hallelujah glory to jesus as your word says that we are part we each part is working properly making makes the body grow to the to build itself up in love as efficient for 
16 tells us, Hallelujah, we pray, Lord, that deeper unity within our diversity may be seen in our ministry, deeper unity in our diversity, that we can comprehend our diversity and that we can be united in our diversity in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As the word tells us in Romans chapter 15, verse 5 to 6, that, you know, you know, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we says, may the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in according with Christ, that together you may be with one voice, glorify the Father of your Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Father, we thank you for harmony. We thank you for unity. Yes, among us, as we do the work of the ministry. Father, we pray finally for fruitful and effective preaching of the gospel as people are being ministered unto to in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we speak Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 which says preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, rebuke and, and, and exalt. Complete with complete patience, teaching the people. Oh, Father, we thank you for the zeal in the house to serve the Lord. As the word says in Romans chapter 12, verse 11, do not be, be slothful in zeal, be fervent in the spirit, serving the Lord. Father, we thank you for the ability to serve the Lord in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, yes, for the ability, for the grace to, to release missionaries in the different nations of the world in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ in every continent of this world. Father, thank you yes, Lord, for people and men and women. We are going to say yes to the kingdom. We are going to take the power of God to the nations. Yes, as you mandated us to take the power of God to the nations. Oh, Rikabala Zopala Ndakujia, Maleko Zopala Hayo Zatelekuja Makoraba Kozapari Nausa. Yes, we speak every in chapter 16, 6, verse, 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 verse 18, which says, Lord, oh, Rebo Zabalahaya, pray at all time in the spirit and with all sacrification that, that the end, that the, to the end, keep a letter with all perseverance, making supplication for all saints and also for me, that the word may be given, that the word may be given in my in my mouth openly to the body to proclaim the mysteries of Christ. Father, we thank you for the ability to proclaim the mysteries of Christ. Father, thank you for the men and women you are raising for ministry. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for your word says the harvest is plentiful, but the harvest has a few. Father, thank you for raising ministers of the gospel in our ministry. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, that we'll be the salt in our community. We pray for the impact of our ministry in our community, the impact of our ministry in our community, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to Jesus. Good morning, saints. Welcome to Morning Mana. It's Apostle J. Yay, what a what a morning. And I thank God for today's prayer points. They are in line with our teaching. They are in line with our series, which we are running, that you and me are part of the ministry, that we must offer ourselves to build the body so you and me we are supposed to offer ourselves to build the body oh glory to jesus oh hallelujah hallelujah so today we are on part four the ministry of helps we are on part four the ministry of helps and it is important for us to know that god has called us God has called all of us to do the work which God has want us to do. He has called us to do to do the seven heart. Lester day we talk about the seven heart that we are supposed to be servants in the body. We are supposed to save one another. We are supposed to do the work of the ministry. Oh, glory to Jesus. And yesterday, we talked to each other about the scripture in the book of First Samuel chapter 13, verse 5 and 6, when we are talking about, when we were talking about, when we were talking 
about uh, when we were talking about Jonathan and Jonathan had a servant whom God has given and this servant was willing to save Jonathan we talked about first Samuel chapter 14 verse 6 the Bible says Jonathan said to the young man first Samuel chapter 14 verse 6 and Jonathan said to the young man that bear his armor come let us go over to the garrison hallelujah Jonathan had an idea to save the people of God Jonathan knew that there was need for the people of God to be saved but thank God for the men of God we had a vision, but we talked about, when we talk about the minister of Job, somebody who takes the burden, he was an armor, he had an armor bearer, he had a helper, but that helper had an attitude. He said he would go, he would go with the man of God. He was willing to go down, and God being faithful, God fought for them. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It is important for us as believers to know that when you are serving God, we are not being brainwashed. There's lots of teaching which are an error going around that, you know, they are being brainwashed. How can they follow one man? Oh, in the Bible, people used to follow men. It was God ordained. So it is important that when we do any Christian service, we know we are doing it as unto the Lord. We know we are doing what God has called to us to be. One thing when you serve God, stand your ground. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. I will say that again. Stand your ground. There will whispers. There are words coming your way. There are thoughts which will come your way. Stand your ground in the word of God. The Bible tells us in First Samuel chapter 14 verse 8 to 10. It says, Behold, we will pass over unto these men. We will. They were talking as a team. Yes, the vision was with Jonathan, but also the assistant was now one with the vision. When you are a helper in the ministry of help, be part of the vision. It's not their vision. It's not my pastor's vision. It's not what they are doing. It's what we are doing. They are saying now we, they are a team. Wherever God has called you to, to, to serve in a department, in a church, in a ministry, know that you are working as a team. You are working as a people. You are working as one. The people must be one. There's a scripture when it was talking of the, about the Tower of Babel. It says the people is one. I always say even when the word of God was written, they put singular. They, in English, we don't say the people is one. We say the people are one. But just because of the unity, it was said the people are one. And what they planned to do, the tower went up. If you are under the sound of my voice, you are called in a ministry. Make sure you are one with the vision. Take it as yours. Take it as your calling. Because your calling, as you are helping in the ministry of help, God is also manifesting your calling. God is also showing up your calling. God is also manifesting what you are supposed to do. Oh, glory to Jesus. The Bible says, if they say thus, unto us, tarry until we come unto you. Then we will stand still in our place and we'll go up uh, up unto them. But if they say thus, go up unto us, then we'll go up for the Lord will deliver them in our hands and he shall, he shall be a sign unto us. Hallelujah. What am I saying? We must be one with the, with the, with, with what God is. That what God has shown, uh, has, has shown the visionary or whom God has sent you under. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. If we go to First Samuel chapter 14, verse 11, it says, Both of them discovered, showed themselves unto the garrison of the Philistine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is where some armor bearer fall away. You know, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. When you're in the ministry of help, be found where you're supposed to be found. Being in a ministry of help, I defined yesterday that it includes active participation. You must be there. This thing that you're called in the ministry, this thing that you get a position in the work of God and in the house of God, and the time you are required to be there, you're not there. You are not a proper helper. We have to repent and align ourselves. The Bible says both of 
them showed themselves. Both of them discovered unto the garrison of the Philistine. My God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We have to be there together. When we say we are joining our hands together, let's be there as ministers of the gospel, as people who are in the ministry of helps. I said we are all needed in the body. One of the day we said all our parts are particular and I can say I'm more important than the ear. A leg can say I'm more important than the hand. What am I saying? Where you are requested to do the work of the ministry, where you are requested to show up. My brother, my sister, show up. My brother, my sister, do the work. Don't explain your duty out. If we need an usher, show up if you're an usher. If you need a singer, show up if you're a singer. If we need an intercessor, pray if you're an intercessor. Remember, you're taking up the burden. Remember, you are do, you are helping. Yes, you are taking the load down. You are doing your part. Remember, we said you are doing other things which your leader can do. You are doing other things which you are mandated to do, which I'm graced to do, so that the work of the ministry can go to the, to the next level. So don't withhold your grace. Don't withhold your grace. Show up. I want you to type wherever you are that I have to show up. I have to be there. Yes, the enemy will come. He wants you to retreat, you know, but what? Don't retreat. Don't retreat. Don't retreat. We have to go up. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the enemy who come trying to destroy. It doesn't matter the enemy who come to one trying to make you, you know, you know, give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, hallelujah. If you go to 1 Samuel chapter 14, verse 12, it says, And the men of the garrison answered Jonathan and his armor bearers and said, Come up to us and we'll show, we'll show you a thing. Come up with us and we'll show you a thing. Come up eh, after us. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Verse 13, it says, And Jonathan climbed up his hands and upon his feet and his armor bearer after him. Oh, what a man. He knew his calling. He knew his calling. He went up. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 The armor bearer could have bailed out. The Amma Biera could have run away. I've seen believers who have been in this church for five years, in this one for two years. They don't have perseverance. My brother, this is the work of the Lord. Battles will come. You are not serving in a perfect ministry. You are not serving perfect people. Things will come. Battles will come. Wars will arise. Don't abandon the battle. Be part of the last testimony. My testimony, I want to say, I was established this ministry, serving this man of God, and I went on, and I went on, and I went on. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabba Ziko Rabba Kosada Bahaya, Riko Rabba Koziko Balahaya. Remember on verse 7 of the same scripture, what did this Amabira say? And he stood with his word. The Bible says, it says, Do all that is in thine heart, and behold, I am with thee according to thy heart. So, you know, this man was following up. This man was a good helper. So, what am I saying? No matter what you are doing in the church of God, don't abide on it. Don't give excuses. When you're traveling, make sure somebody's filling in. When you're going somewhere, make sure somebody's is filling in. This is God's ministry. It is God's order. I said yesterday, we have to execute with excellence. We have to execute with accuracy. We have to execute with, with accountability. Don't just go. Don't just leave. Don't just be offended and give up. Don't just think of anything and just, just retreat. We have to be there. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Mazotali kobuza. Mekori lebe izopare kawuzala bahaya. Mandororo babozaka bahaya. Yandora bahaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you check verse 13 and 14, it says, you know, you know, they, 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 the Philistine fell before Jonathan, and the armor bearers slew, slain after him. And the first slaughter with Jonathan and his armor bearer made 
was about 21. Glory to Jesus. They pursued and they got victory. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. What am I saying? As we continue, we will go through our barricades. We, we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. It is important that we use the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, as we pursue in the cause of the God has given us. Let's not abandon the work of God. Let's do the work of the ministry. Let's be there. Let's be there to stand with the Word of God. Oh, hallelujah. If we go on on that verse, verse 15, 14 and 15, it tells us that it says, and the first slaughter with Jonathan and the Amabira made was about 21 men with as it were a half acre of land which, which a yoke of oxen might plow and weigh. And they was trembling in the, in the field among all the people, the garrison and the spoilers. They also trembled and the earth quaked. So it was very great trembling. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. God will aid us. God will be for us. God will also go for us, with us, as we do the work of the ministry. What am I saying? It is important for us to know that God calls us. Let's not give up. Let's not give in. Let's take our position. Do what you have been called to do. Do what you have been graced to do in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just to put it as we go on, we must know that in this season, God has also called women. Women should do the work of the ministry. Men and husbands must release their women to also help in the work of God, to do the work of God. Remember, we are spirit. When you leave this body, there's no more female and male. When we leave this body, this body is the one which gives you a female or a male just for the sake of productivity. But once you're out of this body, you know, your spirit is either female or male. Your spirit is eternal. It has to work for God for a reward. So it is important for men and women to understand that women as well are used in the work of the ministry, in the ministry of help. I can give you one or two examples. If we go to Acts chapter 9, verse 40 to 41 says, then he turned to the board and said, Tabitha, arise. Hallelujah. So she opened her eyes, and Peter handed her and presented her friend who loved her much. This woman, Tabitha, was doing the work of the ministry. She was in the ministry of help. People were crying when she passed on. Would anyone cry when you pass on? Why? Because she was effective in what God has called her. In the ministry of help, in the ministry of charity. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. If we check Mary who anointed Jesus with the costly ointment. Yes, that was a woman who was helping. Oh, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What am I saying? It is important also for us to understand that, you know, God uses women as well in the gifts of the Spirit. God uses the women as well in the ministry of helps. Oh, I just want us to, to understand that we have to make sure that, you know, as we do the work, we must not be slothful in business. Let's as we serve in this ministry of helps, we must be dedicated, we must be determined. The church of God needs to grow. God gave a man or a woman a vision for you to come and assist. The body mustn't suffer because you are not supply. The Bible says each body or each part must supply. May you supply what God wants you to supply in the work of the ministry. If we go to Romans chapter 11, it, um, so Romans chapter 12, verse 11, Romans chapter 12, verse 11 says us, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving God. They must be servant. The word fervent there talks about zeal. We must have zeal when we serve God. As Christians, let's be zealous. Let's have the zeal to serve God. We can be zealous for anything else other than the word of God. Let's be zealous to serve God. Oh, hallelujah. We have discovered that, you know, in this season, people are no longer zealous for God. You know, over oh, 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 
zeal as for the things of God. Hallelujah. Zeal is being consistent. Zeal is being consistent in use in doing the things of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I want us to read the word of God. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 17. Isaiah 59 verse 17 says, For he put on righteousness as a bracelet. <clears throat> he put on righteousness as a bracelet and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of virgins for the cloth and a clad with zeal as a clock. As, as a clock. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It said the Messiah was put on zeal like a cloth. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 It is important. Hallelujah. That we have got the zeal to do the work of God. What does the Bible say in Psalms 119 verse 139? It says, my zeal, my zeal has consumed me because mine enemy have forgotten thy words. You know, we want to talk about zeal. You know, the Bible also talks about the zeal of the word of God has consumed us. It is important for us that, you know, the zeal of the Lord must consume us, that the zeal of the Lord must consume us so that we can do the work of the ministry. If we go to Isaiah let me just go to, to this scripture. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Romans chapter 10, verse 1 to, to 3 says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about establishing their righteousness have submitted themselves to, they have they've, not submitted themselves to God. What am I saying? We want to have a zeal with knowledge. We want to be zealous, you know, you know, in the things of God. We want to be zealous, zealous in serving God. We want to make sure that the zeal of the Lord must be our strength. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you go to Colossians chapter 4, verse 12 and 30, he says, For I bear him record that he has a great zeal for you. Do you have a great zeal for God? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let me just start, start from, from verse 12. says, Epaphras, who is one of you? A servant of Christ. We say help us a servant. You know, salute you always laboring fervently in prayer. That's another ministry. F always fervent mustn't one day in prayer when you have got a trouble. He says a preference is always laboring fervently daily in prayer. Hallelujah. That he may stand perfect and complete in the will of God. So that's another ministry of help. Hallelujah. For I bear record that he has a great zeal for you. That 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 uh, in in Lokadesha and that in Hyperpolis. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. So what am I saying? It is important that we must be zealous for the things of God. As we do the ministry of helps, that we must be zealous, yes, in the things of God. Second Titus, as we probe, as we, as we close, See, Titus 2, verse 13 and 14 tells us, Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself to us that we might redeem, that we might redeem us from the iniquity and purify us unto him, to his particular people. Zealous for good work, it is important for us as we serve in this ministry of helps that we must be zealous for good work. We must be zealous for good work. I want you to raise your hands. If you are zeal, you will never have. You have a I will not quit attitude. No matter what come your way, your zeal is not measured in one day. When trouble is on your way, you still serve God. When things are not 
on your side, you still serve God. So having zeal is to have a I will not quit attitude. You will not quit. You will continue in the work in the in the work of God. Whether the fridge is full, you serve God. Whether things are not happening in your marriage, you serve God. Whether the ministry seem not to be glowing, you serve God. Whether whatever you are facing, oh hallelujah, the zeal of God must rise inside you so that you can be 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 consistent. Lockdown, you know. But no lockdown. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Let be zealous. Let the zeal of God. Let it be like fire. Shut up in our bones. Continuously. Continuously waiting on the God. Continuously doing the work of the ministry. Let's raise our hands and pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. A wonderful morning. We commit ourselves to you. We create our lives. Um, our, uh, we, we commit ourselves to you. We desire that we say you. We desire that we offer our lives to you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we pray this morning that the zeal of the house of God will consume us. That will do your work. That Lord is Amabiera to Jonathan. A good example. Lord, we continue to be persistent in you. That we continue to follow through the vision which you have given, you know, to the houses which we serve. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, thank you Lord for, this, for the ability to excel. Thank you Lord for the ability to do the work in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the time. Yes, you know, you know, you have given us in this earth. May we invest it in your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, saints. Thank you for joining me this morning. But if you are there, you are not born again. Yes, you can't serve God. I want you to pray with me this prayer. You know, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be the Lord and the Savior of my, my life. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that Jesus is Lord. From this day, I take you as the Lord and the Savior of my life. If you have made that prayer, you are now born again. Welcome to the kingdom. Go to a Bible-believing church like ours. Our details, we see them on the screen. Continue in the word. Continue in fellowship with the other believers. Yes, you are now a new creature. You have now eternal life. You know, you have got a ticket to go to heaven. And you have got eternal life. Enjoy it. God bless you. Have a wonderful morning. See you all tomorrow. Jesus is Lord. There is a place